Good morning, children. Back to our class. This is Standard Three English. Lesson Five: Amachi's Brilliant Traps. Lesson explanation is over. We have already started with the textual grammar. We have already completed half of the textual grammar. But in today's class, I repeat again the textual grammar. Those who have missed it can complete with the help of this. A repeat of the textual grammar. This is your main course book. Lesson number five: Amit is brilliant. Trap textual grammar, page number thirty-four. Page number thirty-four. Read the story and correct these sentences. There are four sentences given in your textbook. There is an error in that. You have to correct it and rewrite it in your note or textbook in the given space. So the first one, oh no, the onion pumps have disappeared. Said a pache. So this sentence, oh no, the onion pumps have disappeared. Said. Upachin is wrong. So the right answer is, oh no, the unia pumps have disappeared. Said Ammachi. So instead of Upachin, we write Ammachi. Second one, we must lay three brilliant traps. Said Suraj. We must lay three brilliant traps. Said Suraj. Again, there is an error in this sentence. We rewrite it with the correct word. We must lay three brilliant traps. Said, not Suraj, but Ammachi. We must lay three brilliant traps. Said, Ammachi. Third one. And this hidden camera will catch the civet red-handed. Said, Ammachi. The word civet is wrong there, so we rewrite the correct one. And this hidden camera will catch up a chain. Said Ammachi. And the fourth one, a first trap is for penny. Said Ammachi. So the word penny is wrong and Ammachi is wrong. Rewrite it correctly. Our first trap is for civet. Said Suraj. So page number thirty-four, exercise A is completed. Page number thirty-four, exercise B. That is, read the sentences from the story and answer the questions. That is, R C. No, I hid some in the kitchen for emergency. No, I hid some in the kitchen. For emergencies, followed by three questions A, B, C. We have to write all three answers. A one, who said this and to whom? Amachi said this to Suraj. Amachi said this to Suraj. What did the speaker hide? The speaker hid unia pumps. The speaker hid. Puni apples. C one. Why did the speaker hide them? The speaker hid them for emergencies because the unia pumps were missing. The unia pumps were getting disappearing. So she hid some for emergency. Second one. You are such a good cook. You are such a Good cook. Followed by three questions, A, B, and C. The A question: Who said this and to whom? Suraj said this to Ammachi. Suraj said this to Ammachi. B one: Why did the speaker say so? Why did the speaker? See, so the speaker said this because the unia pumps were 
too delicious they were very tasty third what what happened after this what happened after this suraj and amma ji shared the remaining puniyappams suraj and amma ji shared the remaining puniyappams page number 35 match the sounds with their sources match the sounds match the sounds with their sources column a sounds column b sources which we have already done it in the previous class this is the repeat that i am doing ground ground option b that is first one you can see the picture of a dog second one tick tock option a the picture of a clock third one his option d the picture of a snake fourth one boom option e the bursting of firecracker and the fifth one ding dong that is option c you can see the picture of a bell children let us go to page number 36 page number 36 page number 36 silent letters sometimes words have letters that are not pronounced when the words are spoken aloud these letters are called as silent letters sometimes words have letters that are not pronounced when the words are spoken aloud these letters are called silent letters now for example h o n e s t honest r h o u r n e k n o w e n o k n o w comb c o m b bomb b o m b in your textbook page number 36 in the clue box there are six letters given and one letter is highlighted with red color that highlighted alphabet that highlighted alphabet in red color are silent letters when we pronounce the letters are silent in the pronunciation so in the above words the letters h k and b are silent now page number 36 circle the silent letters in these words page number 36 circle the silent letters in these words first one is knife k n i f e the letter k is silent so you circle the letter k you are going to circle all the letters that are silent in these words so the first one is knife k n i f e so the letter k is silent so circle k second word rhyme rhyme so the letter h is again silent there circle the letter h third one lamb l a m b lamb circle the letter b b is silent fourth one exhibition e x h i b i t i o n exhibition the letter h is again silent so circle letter h fifth one climb fifth one climb c l i m b climb c l i m b climb so the letter b is silent so circle b sixth one honor sixth one honor h o n o u r 
again the letter h is silent so circle the letter h seventh one dumb d u m b dumb so letter b is silent so we we'll circle letter b eighth one knit k n i t knit k n r t knit letter k is silent so circle letter k ninth one thumb t h u m b thumb t h u m b thumb the letter b is silent so circle letter b and the last one vehicle v e h i c l e vehicle v e h i c l e vehicle so the letter h is again silent here so circle the letter h now page number 37 page number 37 there is a little bit of grammar that is adjectives now what are adjectives adjectives are describing words you have already studied in standard 1 standard 2 and now again you are going to learn it again standard 3 adjectives are describing words that tells us more about nouns for example delicious uniapoms how are the uniapoms they were delicious it is describing the uniapoms suraj was very clever clever suraj so it is describing bucket empty empty bucket that's a brilliant trap what kind of a trap brilliant trap there is some food kept in the kitchen all these adjectives are taken from the lesson which describe the noun there are three type of adjective adjective of quality adjective of quantity and adjective of number so there are three types of adjectives one is adjective of quality adjective of quantity and adjective of number the first one now what is adjective of quality what is adjective of quality in the first sentence brilliant is an adjective that tells us about the kind of trap such adjectives are called adjectives of, of quality describing somebody's qualities right second in the second sentence some tells us how much food is kept in the kitchen there is some food kept in the kitchen how much food some food there is some food kept in the kitchen in the second sentence some tells us how much food is kept in the kitchen such adjectives are called adjectives of quantity in the third sentence three tells us how many uniapoms suraj a such adjectives are called adjective of number so there are three types of adjectives adjective of quality adjective of quantity and adjective of number quality it tells us about the type of uh, about the kind or the quality so it is called as adjective of quality like for example that's a brilliant trap so it comes in adjective of quality second one adjective of quantity how much how much food was there in the 
kitchen there was some food kept in the kitchen so that what sum is telling us about the quantity and the last one is about number adjective of number that is it tells us in numbers 1 2 3 4 100 1000 so that comes in adjective of number children on page number 37 page number 37 look at some more examples of adjective of quality quantity and number the adjectives are highlighted in red so that is for your homework you have to read and understand the three types of adjectives mentioned in the book this is your textual grammar when we are doing a grammar from our grammar book we will study again in detail with definition examples and we will solve all the exercise given in the grammar textbook this is from your main course book textual grammar we need to complete but for your reference you need you need to read and understand the examples given in the box here so page number 37 there are three types of adjective with different examples and the adjectives are highlighted in red color page number 37 fill in the blanks with adjectives then write whether they are adjective of quality quantity or number the first one is already done there are remaining five which we will be doing it okay now page number 37 fill in the blanks with adjectives then write whether they are adjectives of quality quantity or number one has been done for you before that a no small note adjectives of number articles and some other words form a category of words called determiners we will learn about the minus in higher classes as you proceed next year you will go to fourth standard you will learn then you go to fifth you will learn for now what is necessary for your level you will learn this so page 37 first one zubain has dash parrot at home so the answer is green it is describing the color of a parrot so it is adjective of quality yes second one there are dash pencils in the pocket there are dash pencils in the pocket we can write there there are two pencils in the pocket it is adjective of number there are two pencils in the pocket it is adjective of number third one i have dash pages to read i have dash pages to read i have a few pages to read adjective of quantity few pages okay adjective of quantity third fourth one do you have dash money do you have dash money do you have some money do you have some money adjective of quantity because we are asking the question some adjective of quantity fifth one my mother has dash stamps in her collection my mother has beautiful stamps in her collection adjective of quantity adjective of quantity because beautiful is describing the stamps so it is adjective of quality beautiful stamps adjective of quality and the last one 
do you have dash spices to cook the dish do you have enough spices to cook the dish again it is adjective or quantity we are asking whether the person is having enough spices spices are the garam masala that mummy uses in the kitchen while preparing food so do you have enough spices to cook the dish adjective or quantity i repeat the fill in the blanks first one green adjective of quality second one to two p w o 2 t w o 2 adjective of number third one a few adjective of quantity fourth one some adjective of quantity fifth one my mother has beautiful adjective of quality adjective of quality and sixth one do you have enough spice to cook the dish that is adjective of quantity children we stop here and remaining work we will complete when we meet during the online class i will just show you the picture that i have written so that if you have any doubts in understanding the spellings you can refer it yes this is what i have written <clears throat> i hope it's clear to you yes if you have not understood you can ask me during the class i will clear your doubts and we can redo it we can rewrite it for children who have not attended the class or not viewed the video so for today this is all we stop here so next when we have an online class we will redo this chapter with a complete textual grammar till then read the lesson read all the textual work that we have done so far and if you have any doubt you can ask me i will clear your doubts in the next session